Greetings ladies and gentlemen, CCX here, and welcome to the finale of Zone of the Enders. After taking down all those bosses, you end up fighting these Nipitus, Nipitus, whatever. I'm gonna say this now. Oh, by the way, Naked Jedi also has its own personal shield. Yeah, so it can actually block projectiles. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Look at, the, look, look at this. Yeah, by the way, nothing but Nepotus is going to come out, so you might want to actually go ahead and enter online as quickly as possible. Time for Endgame. Ada. Aumann chose me. By fusing Anubis, Aumann can become real. Look, the perfect fusion of Metatron, the destruction to end all! Yeah, he's gone nutso bongos, but then again, we already knew that already. Now, this is the final fight with Anubis, and in all honesty, though, just like the last fight that you had with him, you essentially just have to um, just dash at him. That's really it. He's not really a hard boss per se, but you know he's not easy either because he can get he can't take you, he can't get you off guard. This is actually the full version of Anubis. Just like you're the full version of Jehudi, he's also the full version of himself too. It, it, it's win-win. But anyways, zero shift and dashing is your friend. So just listen to the wonderful theme. And that's pretty much the fight in a nutshell, folks. I really can't really say much else about it. It's not really that much of an interesting fight, sadly, because, uh, as I said before, Zone of Ender's final fights are, eh, kind of one and done once you've done them once. The thing is, though, what's funny about this fight is that this is the only fight that you actually can't finish off quickly as Naked Jehudi. Also, another thing, when you, if you do manage to unlock Naked Jehudi, be warned that its attack strength is very dangerous. So that fight that that fight where you're trying to save Ken, hit her three times and she dies. So just be warned by that. All right, let me actually continuously focus. So. <laughs>
on my last mission. You sacrificed us. Understand? You killed my comrades! <laughs> so what? Those scum died so ungracefully, I wanted to see it with my own eyes. They're waiting for you now. And now we get to do the final attack. Say goodbye, Noman. Forever, you piece of shit. Eat this. Just wait to die. to destroy all
relief party. Ada? Leo. I used Anubis. If Jehuti and Anubis were even, the ignition power would be even too. That thing is better suited for that role. Did I disobey orders? Never mind, Ada. What? It's okay. Use power for the right things. At least, for the things that you believe in. <laughs> so who's second hand? <laughs> Your father. This time, make my body normal. Don't you like it as it is? <sighs> That's way too big. You got it. I trust you. And that is the end of Zone of the Enders. You know what really sucks? I really wish that this, this game's story is not as confusing because it's literally straightforward. Ends up having a focused plot. And it's also not all over the place. Now, mind you, Metal Gear Solid also has a very coherent story. If you end up playing all the other games. Zone of the Enders 1, however, doesn't really hold up in terms of story. But Zone of the Enders 2, however, I have to say, in my opinion, has the better song. Like, I mean, not the better song. The better story out of one. And, you know, that's kind of like saying a lot. Now, I kind of more so wish that they end up creating um, a Zone of the Enders 3, because I'm all for it. I really want a Zone of the Enders 3. Do I recommend this game to people? <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. This game is great. You don't really need to be a sci-fi person, or you don't need to be a giant robot lover to actually enjoy this game. It's pretty much a hack and slash game, it also has its own fair challenges because the difficulties end up suiting the kind of um, completionist art, um, the completionist people, or the hardcore challengers that want to have a game that will kick their asses from here and tomorrow. And the voice acting is a little bit cheesy, but it's still good. It's better than friggin' one, I'll tell you that much. And I'm also glad that they took the direction of going with the anime style the anime um, cutscenes and not the full motion cutscenes because to be honest they probably could have done the full motion cutscenes in the second game a little bit better but in terms of this game per se considering the fact that it had an OVA for the first game to be able to understand Viola a little bit more I would I like that they stuck with an anime cutscene version and just let the mechs not be Mind you, they do have the mechs in anime form as well, but I'm more so glad that they just make the mechs move, the orbital frames move, but the characters themselves have anime art style. And I like that. That's fine. Now, something else I guess I can really... Well, to be honest, the other thing is, is that what this game does is that they make you understand who Dingo is. They make you understand who Ken is. They make you understand the characters that they introduce. 
The problem I have with the second game, I mean with the first game, is the fact that you have to go ahead and watch the OVA to be able to understand Viola a bit more. Because the thing is, she doesn't really have much of a bigger role in the first game because you don't understand her backstory. Aside from the fact that the only thing that you could come up with is that she's creepy, dash, bloodhound, hungry girlfriend, or creepy stalker lady. That's it. Because that's really all you can really get from Viola as a whole. But if you watch the OVA, you end up understanding a bit more about her. The other thing is, is that Noman, I think he's in the OVA. Not really entirely sure. But I don't know. It really doesn't matter. I like Zone of the Enders too, much better. And playing New Game Plus is a very wonderful chore. Sadly, I'm sorry I couldn't be able to get Naked Jehudi because the thing is, Naked Jehudi is not unlocked automatically. You have to actually find Naked Jehudi. There are some fights that I can do without. Um, saving Ken, that's a pain he has to do. Fighting Leo, that drags. Um, the sub weapon system could have been implemented a lot better for normal Jehudi. It's better for when you're um, Jehudi version 2, but that's besides the point. And it's completely mitigating once you're naked Jehudi. Damage Jehudi is fine, even though I'll never actually play as naked Jehudi because, I mean, it's naked Jehudi. What the hell? <laughs> Overall, fantastic game. I like the story. It's still, it, I still always come back to it. And I also love the ending theme, Beyond the um, Beyond the Bounds. It's a wonderful theme. There's a reason why that song is used for the HD collection opening and not the other one. Anyways, guys, I'll, I'll just leave the credits to be rolling. And I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play that I have in store for you. I've been CCX, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of Brave Friends of Musashi. Catch you guys next time. See yas! Yeah.